Economy goes up, economy goes down. It's no worse than the recession of 1981-82, recession of 1973-75. People have recessions. It's not the end of the world. In fact, as I speak to you right now, members of the Savage Nation, Germany and France are out of their recession. Canada's economy is growing. Our northern neighbor, they're out of their recession. And you know what they did? They didn't use borrowing and spending. They didn't have a massive economic stimulus package. They didn't use a massive expansion of government. No, they tightened their belts. They balanced their budgets. They watch what they spend. They cut and trim taxes. And before you know it, shazam, six to nine months later, their economy is growing again. But ours continues to drop like a stone. And yet, rather than hold this man accountable... What is the leftist press coming? To me, I, 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 honestly, I find it almost laughable. I swear to you, I find it laughable. You read all these press accounts. Well, it could be much worse. It's 9.7%. But, oh, my God, uh, uh, his economic recovery package, it saved 150,000 jobs. Um, where do you get these numbers? I mean, Joe Biden comes out with this speech. It saved 150,000 jobs. What are you, just making it up? You just make it up as you go along? I mean, to me, if you're going to start lying, why stop at 150,000? He saved half a million. He saved a million jobs. Hell, he saved everybody. And this is the point. These are people who have no idea how to run a country and how to run an economy. And now the economy is starting to fall and collapse all around them. And they have made promise after promise after promise. And the economy is not getting better. Their stimulus package has not worked. Their massive expansion of government has done nothing to revive the economy. And now, his crown jewel, the health care package, the government takeover of health care. This was going to put the final nail in capitalist America. This was going to create now a European-style welfare state forever. This would enshrine Obama as the second coming of FDR. Nationalized medicine. And now, it is even that is now starting to slip away from his grasp. Liberal Democrats are now coming out saying, if the public option is taken off the table, we will vote against any bill. Republicans and conservative Democrats are now saying no public option, because a public option is a road to socialized medicine. And my friends, let me just say this. I don't care about a lot of things that the left does. I honestly don't. I really don't. If they want to believe in global warming, that's a fiction, but they can believe it. If they want to believe that McDonald's and Burger King are a curse upon the earth, let them believe it. Frankly, I like a good Whopper. I really do. But if there's one thing I find profoundly disgusting is when the left goes out, when people like Ted Kennedy was going around saying that America is a second-class nation, because we don't have universal health care. He is a liar. He lied about that woman that he killed in Chappaquiddick. And that's what I find disgusting about what the media has done with him, lionizing him as this great liberal, when in fact he, he was the one that was behind the wheel on that bridge, drunk like a skunk, and he drove that car over and he let that woman die. He is a murderer. And if nobody else in the mainstream media has the guts to say it, I will say it. But his big cause, nationalized medicine, I am originally from Canada. I have seen socialized medicine up close and up front. My mother, God rest her soul, was stricken with pancreatic cancer five years ago. She still lived in Canada. You have no idea how degrading and poor the treatment was for her. Do you know the longest time a doctor spent with my mother, who was then 65? Two and a half minutes. Okay, 150 seconds. That's all they were able to give my mother as she was getting treatment for her pancreatic cancer. And she ended up dying in a hospital bed with no nursing care and no health care. That is the horror of nationalized medicine. So, my friends, when these liberals run around and saying you need a public option, when people like Nancy Pelosi are threatening uh, lawmakers that they have to support a public option, you have to stand up and say clearly and unequivocally, no socialized medicine here in America. Obama thinks that he can pass it. But, my friends, the American people are now starting to realize the horrors of socialized medicine. And the more they see it, the more the backlash is growing. His presidency is crumbling all around us.
And my friends, we have heard from him. But in 2010, they will hear from us. I am Jeff Cooner, sitting in for the living legend, Michael Savage, on the Savage Nation. We'll be right back after this break. The number to call, 1-800-449-8255. Savage. 910 at 910 a.m. on 910 a.m. The new generation of talk radio is coming. This is Jeff Cooner from the Washington Times filling in for the living legend Michael Savage on the Savage Nation. Welcome back, one and all. Um, Is the Obama presidency imploding? Is his incompetence now starting to finally catch up with him and the Democrats? I want to hear from you. 1-800-449-8255. 1-800-449-8255. People like Michael and myself have been warning this country now for, really, for the last year, even before he became president, uh, what a socialist thug President Obama is. And uh, for those of you that want to doubt it, well, and you're saying you didn't expect it, well, we have a nice clip of Obama on the campaign trail, and he was just telling us just a hint, just a taste of what we were in store for. Roll we cannot continue to rely only on our military in order to achieve the national security objectives that we've set. We've got to have a civilian national security force that's just as powerful, just as strong, just as well funded. Yep, a civilian security force, just as strong, just as powerful. Sure, those are his uh, fascist brown shirts. Obama is a national socialist. He is a liberal fascist. And what we are now seeing in this country is an attempt to ram national socialism down our throat. They now have, they're empowering the Justice Department and the FBI to spy on pro-life groups, to spy on anti-illegal immigration groups. They now are trying to ram nationalized health care. They have now taken over the banking sector, the automaking sector, the financial sector. I mean, there's almost nothing left. There is now a slow government takeover of almost every sector of our society. And we are now slowly becoming a socialist super state. And now Obama, you'll see, eventually will pull out his civilian security force, his fascist brown shirts. And the only thing stopping him right now is conservative talk radio. And that's why we are now leading a conservative backlash. But my friends, make no mistake about it. This is an utterly inept and incompetent administration. Take a look at his environmental czar, that moron, Van Jones. He just came out with another inflammatory statement. This is just on the Drudge Report. He has now come out and said that black students would never have committed a Columbine. In other words, black students don't commit mass murders at schools. Only white students do that. That's what he calls that white suburban students commit mass murders. This man is an utter imbecile. This is the same man who signed a petition saying that 9-11 was an inside job, that 9-11 was committed by people within the American government. This man is a leftist Marxist crackpot. And he is Obama's advisor on the, on the environment and on creating so-called green jobs. These are the kinds of fanatics, of Marxist, socialist, fascist fanatics that are staffing the Obama administration. They're not just ideologically crazy. They're also profoundly incompetent and inept. And now, as we start Labor Day weekend, the American people are starting to finally realize they have a sham and a fraud as president. In other words, we were right. This is Jeff Cooner sitting in for Michael Savage on the Savage Nation. This is the Savage Nation on Talk 910 KNEW. This is Jeff Cooner from the Washington Times sitting in for the living legend Michael Savage. The number to call is 1 800 449 8255. 1 800 449 8255. Is Obama's presidency imploding in front of our very eyes? Do you think Americans are finally starting to get buyer's remorse? 
uh, are they now finally starting to regret uh, having elected that socialist Marxist uh, fraud of a president uh, to the White House? Um, before I take to some phone lines, uh, please go to michaelsavage.com. There are some excellent stories up there, not just about Michael's invitation to talk to the Cambridge Union about him being blacklisted, but uh, about the fact that the economy now is at 9.7% unemployment. Uh, the economy is now continuing to spiral downwards, despite a literally record deficits that are crushing this country and destroying our long-term economic future. And then that moron, Van Jones... Uh, the one who actually believes that 9-11 was an inside job, Obama's green job czar, uh, a very good story up on michaelsavage.com uh, about him, and in particular why, believe it or not, he still has the confidence of President Barack Hussein Obama. Uh, the number to call again is one.